Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing my third update for my 8 by Easter project pan. So I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna do an update earlier and uh, totally forgot. <laughs> I completely forgot about this project, but I think that's not a bad thing because I've actually finished more than half of the products in this project. So, doing pretty good. I've got uh, just about a month left in the project, and I really think I can make some awesome progress past my original goals. So, let's go ahead and jump right in, but if you did miss you know, intro, previous updates, I'll throw the playlist up in the cards if you'd like to catch up. So let's go through first just the products that I've already finished. I already, before the last update, finished my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I loved it. I also love the one I've replaced it with, the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Great primer. I've also finished up the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Make It Last setting powder. It's been so long. This is completely empty. Also finished this up before the last update. I have three new empties to show you. The first is my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder. This is just the pan. Totally empty. There is a bit of residue left on here from when I repressed the powder, but that doesn't like come off. It's kind of just like stuck there. I love this powder. I will perhaps purchase it again. I don't even know how many times, but I have panned this at least three times. I do love this powder. It's honestly one of my favorite affordable face powders. The next product that I finished up this time around is the Kylie Concealer. So as you can see, I've scraped just about everything out. I did buy a new spatula and I used that to help me scrape out all the product after... I actually didn't get the stopper out this time. The stopper kind of pushed into the bottom of the... Of the concealer but I was able to get all the use out of this as I could. This is the second Kylie concealer I've totally panned and it's still like one of my favorite concealers of all time. I love this. I am seriously considering buying it again from the website. The next product that I finished up was one of the shades from my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and I completely used up one of the light setting powders. So this is all of the pan in that right there. And I was actually able to hit pan on the other shade that I was working on. But the goal for this project was just to finish up this one. So I'm very happy that I was able to actually finish this one up. I was so close during my last update. I kind of thought I would finish it up before now, but I'm glad it's finished up and I can now start working on or work more on this other one. All right, so on to the rest of our products. The next product is one I already hit my goal on as well. And this is the Becca Royal Glow Highlighter. My original goal was to hit pan and I've expanded the pan that I originally had exponentially. This is all the pan that I have right now. My new goal for the next month is really to use up this little bit of product right here just to make the entire top half pan. I adore this highlighter. I could literally use it every day. I'm not wearing it today because now I am panning another highlighter in another project pan, but I, I still love this. I can use this whenever and I've hit a lot of pan on it and I really think I could probably finish the entire product by the end of 2019. The next product which is actually surprising me by how much is left in it is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Medium Honey. I've been using this every day to prime my eyes for eyeshadow and I mentioned before that I was able to scrape the sides to get product but I'm still there's still a lot of product in here. It's, it's going a long way. So I honestly don't think I'm going to be able to finish this by the end of the project, but you never know. I still use this every day to prime my eyes. So we'll see how much progress I can make. And hopefully I'll get to the point where I have to remove the stopper and start scraping it out. All right. And the last product is the foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. The cap is messy as hell, but I don't know if you can see. Let me just close that up. I don't know if you can see on the side where I actually scraped away some of the foundation. I was having trouble squirting out the foundation using the pump, so I actually went in with my spatula and scraped the sides, and I saw that I'm actually down to here. I didn't think I was that far down. Down to here on the foundation, and I can actually scrape away just the middle part. My spatula can't reach the very top, so after I scraped everything away, the foundation that was on the sides on the top kind of settled down but I'm actually pretty close to finishing this up. And I really think that my new goal can be to finish this up in the next month. I really think I can do that. 
So that is my update for my finish eight by Easter. I don't think I'm gonna do another update. I think the next video I'm going to do will be the finale right around Easter time. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below if you're doing a seasonal project pan. I also have a bunch of other project pans which I will list down in the description box below that I'm working on. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.